Hello everybody, Boyd here with you again. Well, I'm introducing another build series here on our channel. This is the brand new 1966 Batmobile from our good friends at Fan Home. And I got to tell you, you guys, when I received the uh, first parts pack installment for this, I think I'm the most excited of all to work on this one out of all the models they've sent me so far. This is just a fantastic uh, project and uh, the amount of detail that they put into this is absolutely incredible, you guys. I'm going to start off by showing you, um, in your first installment here, you get this uh, beautiful full-color poster that uh, folds out into several sections here. It's so large <clears throat> that I won't be able to get it into the entire screen. But uh, if you just take a look at this, they have gone to great lengths to capture every single detail of the original Batmobile. And it's absolutely fantastic. Um, the car measures out to 28 inches long when it's finished, so this is a huge model. It's 1-8 scale, and um, <clears throat> it has a remote control feature for some lighting and sound effects that we'll get into a little bit later on. But as you can see here, all the iconic Batman uh, accessories that we were used to, the bat scope, detailed dashboard, the iconic steering wheel, emergency turn lever, bat phone fire extinguisher and uh, of course the trunk uh, opens on this vehicle so we can see the uh, mobile crime lab as they called it on the television show. Now the thing I think that's really nice about this model in particular too is that uh, a lot of Batmobile models uh, they're not accurate as far as the original film car had its original engine which I believe was a Lincoln engine underneath of the hood and this car actually has that and it's fully detailed along with the uh, uh, you know, turbine, uh, the turbine work that they put into the vehicle to give the, the uh, simulated uh, jet engine effect at the rear. But you can see the fine quality detail here. Uh, for example, on the bat scope, it's just absolutely gorgeous. We're going to be working with that actually today in the first parts pack. But we'll show you that in a second, but just a little bit more here. And you can see some information about the Batmobile itself. There's more that opens up to a gigantic beautiful full color picture of the Batmobile model and this guy's is just uh, I wanna I can't say I can't thank fan home enough for uh, giving me the opportunity to work on this I'm just really really excited I'm fighting a little bit of a cold right now so um excuse my voice a little bit but I'm determined to work through this today and get you started on the first uh, installment of the parts back now when you subscribe to this <clears throat> you're going <clears throat> you'll be getting some really cool gifts along the way and I just wanted to highlight these for you you get a poster here, I believe, you, as your first gift, which is uh, some incredible uh, photography from the original series and some period-correct artwork. Uh, your second gift is a beautiful Batman cap. Your third gift is a really nice mug. And uh, the fourth gift will be the, the actual Batmobile license plate in a certain scale. But those are all really cool gifts that you can display along with your model and enjoy. Uh, down the road. So this is just really, really cool, you guys. And as I said, I can't wait to get started. We'll pause real quick here. I'll bring in the first parts pack and we'll go ahead and get started assembling this beautiful model, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we're back with you and you can see we've got our parts pack laid out here. Our first one. You can see the beautiful Batmobile hood here and you can get a and a, an idea of the scale of the actual car kind of hold up my hand to compare this so this is just absolutely gorgeous the paint finish on this you guys is absolutely phenomenal you can see I can just kind of move it around here and show you the shimmer on it it looks like they've actually done some polishing on this and I can see a few little lines on it I'm actually gonna probably come back and polish on this a little bit more but boy this is just absolutely gorgeous you guys the lines are perfect there's not a flaw at all in the black finish it's going to look absolutely phenomenal when it's all finished up and all in one piece. So the quality here is outstanding, you guys. Um, what I want to mention is, uh, like I have in all these little videos about these fan home kits, when you're taking your parts apart and you're taking the lid off of this parts assembly, be really careful because it wants to kind of spring apart and you might have some really uh, small pieces in here that could go flying. So you want to really be careful not to lose that. We were uh, successful here getting this apart, so we're ready to uh, start some assembly. Now, uh, on my channel here, you guys are used to seeing me build a lot of models where I'm painting, uh, gluing, uh, doing all kinds of uh, you know preparation work and things like that. The beauty of these fan home models 
is that they are completely ready to go, pre-painted, and ready for ease of assembly. No glue required in most cases. So all we need for tools are a couple of simple Phillips screwdrivers. I prefer to use a small one and a kind of a bigger one here. Preferably with a magnetic tip because you're going to be working with these small little screws and starting them in holes and things like that. And it's just a lot easier to work with that way. So that's all that's required. Now they do uh, include a screwdriver. And uh, it's it's pretty good quality, but you know I would recommend upgrading to uh, some really good quality screwdrivers for this. Okay, so the first thing that it looks like we're going to be doing today is we've got the hood assembly here, and we've got this uh, framework that's going to go underneath of it, and we've got to attach that with some screws. So let's take a look at what the instructions show. We'll go ahead and move our. We're also going to be doing a little bit of work with the bat phone here. It looks like. So let's move that out of the way for now and take a look at what the. Uh, assembly instructions are, are telling us to do here and we'll start with that first now uh, taking a look at the booklet each one of these booklets is is uh, you're gonna want to keep in your collection by itself you guys as I've shown in the other builds I'm working with this is chock full of information look at this beautiful photography full color high quality I even like the way the these smell actually they really are nice that fresh uh, ink smell they're just beautiful uh, and you can see we've got all this information about the Batman TV series. You'll see a different article in each magazine. All the way back to the origins of Batman himself. Uh, if you're a Batman fan, guys, by the end of this thing, you'll have everything you ever wanted to know about it. It's just absolutely fantastic. And I'll just kind of thumb through this, and you can take your time reading these when you get you get these yourself. And I really, help, I really do hope you'll uh, pick up one of these kits and subscribe and join me. And uh, build along as we go. That's a lot of fun. We can get like a little group build going here. It'd be really interesting and I'll uh, help answer any questions that I can along the way if I'm a little bit ahead of you. So um, yeah, definitely check it out. We'll have the link in the description of the video of where you can sign up and start your subscription for this gorgeous model and uh, have a lot of fun. So you can see what we have here with each uh, installment in each magazine. You'll see your actual parts list that you get in your uh, parts pack. So in parts pack one here, we got this hood, and we got this little framework here. We got the screwdriver, and we got some parts for the bat phone and the screws. So we can see we've got everything complete. We're going to go ahead and start assembly now. So you can see they give you uh, specific instructions on how to do that. So we're going to be working with the hood and turning it upside down here. And we've got this framework. We're going to kind of test fit it and see if everything lines up really good here, which it does. I have not disappointed been disappointed at all all the way through these uh, other fan home models I'm working on which we're going to be getting back to very shortly I've been ill for a little while but I'm back to my uh, uh, back to where I'm able to work and everything now so we're um, going to go full steam ahead and I hope you guys will uh, enjoy all the updates and we'll get you all caught back up so what I prefer to do they have this little ziplock thing here but I'm just going to cut this open and we're just going to dump our screws out on the on the uh, instructions here now in this case they're only calling for one size screw and uh, we're just going to be putting the same one in all the way around the perimeter here. So I'm just going to kind of find out which screwdriver fits best and we're going to go with that you guys. Looks like the small one's going to work better in this case. Alright, so we're just going to start off right here in the front and drop in our first screw. Okay guys, now it's important that you don't over tighten these two when they hit bottom go ahead and stop you don't want to force it uh, and strip the threads or anything like that very easy you'll get the hang of it right away as soon as you start working with these and everything is uh, right out in the open you can see we've got these holes right in front of us we can't miss I think maybe the bigger one might work better. We'll see here. It's kind of skipping a little bit on that one. Okay. Yep, that's working better. So we'll go back to the big one. Again, trial and error, you guys. Just work whatever work. Use whatever works best. All right. I've got my friends, the morning doves, out here serenading us as we work, if you can hear them. So uh, don't mind them. They're part of Texas culture down here. I'm in San Antonio, Texas, and uh, 
but uh, Fan Home ships these models all over the world and they're available everywhere and uh, they've been in business for quite a while their quality is outstanding like I said and uh, many many satisfied customers out there the results you get in the end with these models is absolutely fantastic and again not everyone is, at home is set up to uh, you know to do painting and, and gluing and all those kinds of things and you still want to uh, be creative and work with your hands. So these models are ideal for people like that, you guys. So I'm really enjoying that. Just uh, keeping myself busy and and again, seeing the fantastic results when we finish is just well worth it. This is going along quite well, you guys. We're working our way right around here. This frame is just like a little extra support, I guess, for um, the hood. It looks like we're going to be a couple of screws short here, you guys. I'm going to have to investigate that. <clears throat> Ah, I see where the uh, I see where the uh, mistake was, you guys. I wasn't supposed to put screws in right here, so we'll remove those and put those back where they should go. Now they always give you a couple of extra screws, um, so no worries there, and you'll wind up with a lot of. I I I'll put them in like a little container just in case, but uh, you get more than enough screws to put these together usually. Okay, we're gonna put this one in here. Right. So definitely pay attention to your instructions, guys. I just kind of glanced there and uh, assumed that we were putting screws in these holes right here, but we're not. Even though they accept screws, that might be something that goes in later on. There could be a, uh, my guess is there's some kind of a hinge mechanism or something that goes there to open the hood that we're going to be working with later on, so... Okay, we'll go ahead and put this one back in here where it belongs. Almost finished, you guys. You can see how easily, easily this is uh, working. And we'll just remove these last two here and uh, save those for later. As I said, I'm sure something goes in there that the screws definitely go in there, but just not at this time. Okay, let's get those out of there. Off to the side. And there we have it, you guys. We have our um, hood assembly done here, uh, at least in the first phase. Now, being this is this beautiful painted surface here, you guys, don't work. You know, make sure you have it on something nice and smooth underneath there when you're working with it. You don't want to scratch it. So either a nice towel or, you know, this instruction sheet was fine in this case. So you can see we've got that complete. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side and move along to our next step in our first parts pack here. We've got a wheel assembly and some other goodies coming up. Be right back to show you that, everybody. Okay, everybody, we're back for the final segment here. And we're going to be in uh, assembling the uh, bat scope, the telescoping little probe that comes out of the front of the Batmobile. Uh, they're calling it the antenna here. So you can see we've got this little part right here. Uh, let's back up and they show you the actual part, I think, or not. Um, but anyway, you've got the uh, part shown over here on the side, as you can see. So uh, we've got this little piece we bring out of here, the cylinder that it fits in. You've got this uh, really nice stainless steel telescoping rod that actually telescopes really really nice so that's a really really high quality part beautiful that's going to work excellent 
when we install it in the car. And we've got two screws that go in here. They're calling for the, um, let's see, which screws are we using here? The EP screws. So I went ahead and put those in. And this is mounted. Very simple. It just lowers down in there. you got two holes in that. You line it up and you screw those in. Now, what we're going to be doing next is we've got this little piece, detail part. And you can see it's a super delicate little part. It's the actual antenna. And I can already see it's kind of a little bit bent up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and straighten it. Uh, it's like a uh, photo etch part for you, those for those of you that are familiar with what those are. Super delicate, uh, little stamped part. Uh, this might actually be plastic. I'm not sure what this is, but we're going to make sure it's nice and straight. But what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm just going to give you a quick demo. It goes on top like this. And then we have a little cap, a tiny little... It's in this little bag right here. It's a little chrome cap that goes on top of that that locks it in place. Well, at this time, you guys, I'm going to elect not to put this on uh, because it'll be laying on its side and everything. It could get bent. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in its little uh, cubby hole right here and the little thing in this, and I'll just store this. When we actually get to the point later on when we're going to uh, install it in the car and it'll be safe and sound, we'll go ahead and put it all together then. So just kind of... Uh, Think your way through some of that stuff, you know, like that sitting there laying there like on its side, it could get damaged and it's going to probably be a while before we're going to get to that part when we install it. So, okay, you guys, well, that's going to be a wrap for our first uh, parts pack here. Really happy. Let's take a look at this wheel again. <clears throat> I'm really happy with how it all went. You can see it's just absolutely gorgeous. So we'll be back uh, in a couple days with a uh, another of these. I'm working on actually four of these uh these fan home kits. I'll be back with the Millennium Falcon, the Ford GT, and we've also got the um, Back to the Future DeLorean. So I'm going to update you guys on all these, and as soon as we get our next par parts back in for the Batmobile, we'll be back up updating you on that. Now, I will mention that after your first parts pack, your uh, subs uh, the parts packs that you get after that come four at a time. So we're going to be making up some pretty good ground here. We'll be able to do a lot more and uh, get a lot more built with each uh, video segment so be sure and tune in you guys and like I mentioned don't forget to check below the link below where you can uh, look for the subscription to sign up for this uh, awesome uh, fan home 1966 Batmobile and hopefully you'll grab one of these and you can build along with me and we'll have a lot of fun I'll see you on the next one everybody take care